Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and I'm a little under the weather today so I hope you'll forgive me if my voice is a little off or crackly. Today we're going to use a soap that when I opened it I was like whoo <laughs> it it is so bright and effervescent and fragrant it's just a terrific scent. It reminds me of uh, Wickham Club Cola or uh, Katie's Bubbles Rosé du Matin, I think. Really terrific scent strength. Again, uh, Central <clears throat> Texas Soaps. This is Hill Country Dew. I've never used this brand before. I've never had any communication with the brand. I don't really know anything about it other than this soap. If you like bright, effervescent, citrusy scents, it is terrific. Again, think Club Cola from Wickham. Scent strength, very nice, 7.5 to 8 on the high end. Uh, very good cost, too. I got this at West Coast Shaving for $11.48. $2.29 per ounce PPO. That is terrific. So here's my uh, PPO scale. If it's between 2 and $3, it is two thumbs up. If it's between 3 and $4 an ounce, it's one thumbs up. If it's between four and five dollars an ounce, I start to wince like that. And if it's more than five dollars an ounce, I start to cry. So <laughs> I need to to uh, make some graphics for that. But anyway, today we're going to use the Rex Envoy with the Kai uh, blade. And again, my my run with the Lupo and the Kai wasn't great. It was a little rough. But people say these blades are a little thicker. So today we're going to use the Rex Envoy, which is a terrific razor. We're going to be using one of my favorite brushes, the West Coast Shaving Synthetic Two-Tone. I love this brush. 26 millimeter knot, and by the way, we got the soap in there. I'm going to start <clears throat> loading here for you so we don't have a super long video. Anyway, um, this stuff smells great, I got to tell you folks. Man, I tell you, it's been a little bit rough. <clears throat> the family's been dealing with a lot of illness. My wife had pneumonia and then she got rid of it for, she recovered seemingly for a couple days and then then she had bronchitis. And my mother-in-law is suffering from uh, a severe stage of cancer and she's struggling with that. And my aunt is struggling with cancer and my nephew yesterday had a temperature of 105 and so there's been a lot of sickness. Fortunately, I've been able to avoid it up until now, but now I've got a little sinus thing and cough and so on, but we will push through it. Doing these videos and, and using this gear really just reinvigorates me and sort of keeps my mind off to things like that that are, you know, less than fun to think about. Especially my mother-in-law and my aunt who are, you know, they're really struggling. But, uh, you know, they're strong women, they're doing well, but it's tough, you know. I've known my mother-in-law since 1989. I've known the family for a long time. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's 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 get on to shaving stuff and stuff that's a little more pleasant to talk about. Th this stuff for me just it just makes me happy, and so I'm so happy that that you all are along for the ride and participating. And I, it really means a lot to me, and the folks who contribute to this channel mean a lot to me. Uh, Anthony Vincent is our latest Patreon supporter. And we were having a conversation over uh, email and uh, it was just, it was a terrific conversation. He's a guy who's had a lot of adversity and uh, you know, having this common hobby and theme and people to share things with, it's pretty nice. And Anthony had asked me, uh, I kind of get a military vibe from you. Were you in the military? And the answer to that is yes. I was in the Air Force. I was, at the time, a law enforcement specialist. They don't have that career field anymore. They're all considered uh, security police now, meaning they can do e either security or law enforcement. But back when I was in, they had security and law enforcement. I was law enforcement. There's a, I'll put a pic right there of the, the old days when I was in the military. So Anthony, yes, 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 I was in the military. And thank you, Anthony, for your service. And thanks very much for contributing to the channel as well. It means so much, folks. I can't tell you how much it means to me that uh, the supporters, you know, coming back and are con contributing both in watches and uh, in terms of views, I should say, not watches, but viewing the channel, making comments, you know, sending gear, because uh, obviously I can't buy it all. 
Uh, Anthony sending a Razor Rock Razor, and I really appreciate that. Also, another gent named Vin Vince Hollis is sending a, uh, he really likes uh, Jim 1912. And I can't find any 1912s here. Again, I think I have some stuff in storage maybe, but <clears throat> I can't find a 1912. And so he offered to send one. So thank you very much, Vince. And uh, thanks so much, Anthony. And Anthony shared some personal stories uh, with me, which I won't share, but you know, it's nice folks when you have a hobby like this and you can just sort of connect with people. So it's really good. So the soap, by the way, smells terrific. And we'll see how it works here in a moment. Again, I don't know anything about the company, but I like the price. I like the way it sells, or excuse me, smells. I'm out of it today. I really don't have that much vigor today. And I'm hoping the shave will sort of reinvigorate me a little bit. I just feel uh, sort of run down. But we like doing this and we usually feel better after we do it. So we're gonna get a good shave and uh, hopefully we do better from there. Okay, first pass with the Rex Envoy. This is one of my favorite razors. Even though I haven't had it long, it is terrific. The inspector sent this to me as a uh, Christmas gift. And there is the inspector. So thank you very much, inspector. It is a terrific razor. I love it. It's definitely one of my favorites. Stainless steel heavy, lifetime warranty. It just really does a great job too. I would call it something close to medium aggressive. The knurling on it again. People get tired of hearing me say the knurling is the best I've ever used on a razor, but it's true. It just is. It's really, really nice and uh, provides for a really nice shave, I think. So the uh, blades here today, getting a little better. The Kai blade. Again, it's not the, uh, the absolute smoothest yet, but I can tell it is definitely a little more calm in this razor than it was in the Lupo, so that is a good thing. And we will be thankful for that. The soap is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And I'm liking it a lot. So I got these two soaps um, from West Coast Shaving. I got another one. <clears throat> Where did I put it? It's over here called uh, Zingari Man, the Mariner. And I was watching uh, Glenn Helly's channel. And he opened this and he really liked it. And I, uh, <clears throat> I like Aqua and ozone type scents as well. And this one has a beautiful uh, scent. It's far it's far more subtle. Like this one you open and it's like instant joy, bam! You know, like excitement. This one you open, you have to think about it. The scent presents itself to you and you sort of, it's, it's mellow, it's nuanced, but it's a really a nice scent. Scent strength on this one is maybe five. It's around medium, but it's a much, in my opinion, a much more subtle, nuanced type relaxing would be the way I would characterize it. It's just one of those soaps where, you know, just it's nice, it's calming. That that would be the way I would put it. I don't know what the artisan intent was or how they wanted it to come across, but that's how it come across comes across, I should say, for me. So the <clears throat> Central Texas soap here, really nice. That scent is just killer. I love it. Um, by the way, we're going to have a giveaway announcement today. So stay tuned for that. I will put that in probably in the next pass or something like that for you folks. We tend to announce giveaways on Sundays and we shall do that today. Thanks again, everybody for, for coming along. Much appreciated. And so these giveaways Obviously, it drives user engagement, but it's also our way of just saying thank you. You know, thank you for t participating. Thank you for your time. I put a lot of time and effort into producing content, and I'm very appreciative that you will spend your time watching it. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it. All right. Whew. I love this scent. I can't talk enough about this scent. It is just so nice, and it comes at a great price. I mean, for me, I can tell you right now, I will be back for uh, Central Texas soaps. At this price, it is pff, terrific.
I'm really happy that when I got this, it was a home run, scent-wise. Just makes me happy to use it. It's terrific. Smells good, feels good. No bubbles, no troubles. All right, let's get rid of that a little bit and we'll move on to pass two. But uh, actually, before we start pass two, I wanna remind you of something. The Fine Aquamarine Soap and Aftershave will be available today is March 1st. I believe this is supposed to release today from West Coast Shaving. So if you like uh, aqua type scents, this one is different uh, than probably anything you've experienced, but check out West Coast Shaving because it is a, a West Coast Shaving exclusive. And I like West Coast Shaving. I order a, a lot of stuff uh, from there. And, uh, they're fine people, the, both the owner and they have some shaving enthusiasts like Abraham that works there and others as well. I can't mention everybody that works at West Coast Shaving, but they have uh, folks who are practitioners of this hobby who uh, who work there, who are good people. I, I reached out to Abraham the other day to ask for a recommendation for a uh, budget badger brush. Like I love their house brand stuff. Like I buy them, I love them. Uh, especially their synthetics. And I said, I asked Abraham uh, if he could recommend a uh, house brand synthetic, or excuse me, a house brand badger that was soft and not prickly because I don't like prickly brushes at all. I just don't want them on my face. I don't like them personally. A lot of people do. I don't. Anyway, he recommended me their house brand um, Badger that looks like this. Got this same um, handle style, and I ordered one. And I'm sure I'll be using that this week. Because people want to see a variety of uh, things on the channel. And so I will try to deliver as best I can. Okay, let's announce the giveaway real quick before past three. We are giving away to you two things. Number one, the Samogue Owners Club Two Band Finest. Yes, Finest. Yes, this is the one I bought. Um, I ordered a bore, but they sent me this, and this is the Two Band Finest. It's about a $60 brush uh, badger. I just don't care for it. It's a little prickly for me. I will shampoo it with Dawn, like an antibacterial soap, and uh, wrap it up for the winter. To enter, by the way, let me get to the second part. Also, in addition to this two band finest from Samog, West Coast Shaving, again, has kicked in a $25 gift certificate. So whoever I draw next week on Saturday will get this and a $25 gift card from West Coast Shaving. Thank you very much, West Coast Shaving, for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And it allows me to give back to you. And I think that's terrific. So to enter, please, uh, we'll just do it the way we always do it. Name and town. Write your name below, write where you're from. I like to see where people are from. And there are new people that enter uh, every time. Obviously there's a lot of the same people, but I find people from new places every single time, which I think is pretty cool. So folks, if you want to get a shot at this uh, two band finest and the $25 gift card from West Coast Shaving, check it out. Respond below with your name in town and we will Put all those names in a randomizer next Saturday. I don't know what the date will be next Saturday, but that will be the deadline. And I uh, hope you will enjoy it if you are the winner. You probably will. I'm sure you will. Because who doesn't like free stuff? <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Woo, I love this scent. If I wasn't feeling rough, I'd be jumping for joy, you know, but... I'm giving the level of enthusiasm that I have energy for, but I'm sure it is, uh, it's under what I would be giving if I felt 100%, because I don't feel great. But this has really helped. I'm, I am enjoying, really enjoying. This scent just, it's so, it's so nice, effervescent, uplifting for me. It just hits all my, uh, you know, when I'm looking for a scent, this is what I'm looking for right here. Which is, again, a lot like Wickham Club Cola or Katie's Bubbles Rosé Dumont, I think. 
it's in that wheelhouse, so to speak, scent-wise. Terrific. Terrific. All right. Woo! Very good stuff here. I've been pleased all around with the soap, from cost to quality to everything. I mean, it's really, really nice. I'll be honest, folks. I don't like the trend, personally, of the north of $5 an ounce soaps. I just... You know, the the thing about this, this is just my opinion here. There are a lot of north of $5 an ounce soaps that are terrific and probably worth that price. But as I said in my other video, we need new people. We need a fresh supply of new users at all times to keep this hobby going. And if things are too um, pricey for them, if they're like, man, I'm not paying 25 bucks for, you know, four ounces of soap or five ounces of soap. Um, that's not good. You know, that That said, artisans should uh, obviously charge whatever they like. But for me personally, as a consumer and someone who's bought a lot of these products, um, I liked it better when we, when they were most prop, we're in that three to $4 an ounce and maybe a little over four. But when it got to five, I'm like, ah, uh, but you'll see some on the channel here because people have asked for it and we do try to, as much as we can, bring the content that people are asking for. Obviously, I, I just can't buy everything. And so the support I get is really helpful in that regard because it allows me to, to go out and get this stuff. So thank you very much, all you supporters and viewers. And the people who just contribute via comments and sharing information and so on and so forth. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. All right. Let us rinse the face. We will come back for the post. Stay tuned. And all right. We are back with the magic made by witches. Thayers. And yes, we have a another bottle of that right here on standby. I use it every day, so got to have it. I go through it at a pretty rapid Click, it's the one thing that I use every single day. Thayer's, it's great stuff. Quick look at the product before we get to the aftershave. We use the Central Texas Hill Country Dew. Fantastic, I love it. Big thumbs up on this. Great price, very good performance, um, great scent. I love it, excellent. West Coast Shaving, two-tone synthetic. I love it, great price. Nice big knot, soft and easy on your face. Absolutely terrific. Rex Envoy, terrific razor. A little bit expensive at 125, um, but boy, this is a really great quality razor. Kai Blade, much better than the first shave. Um, these are a little expensive. If I'll show you the, the box the right way up, but terrific razor. And uh, before we go, let's again announce our giveaway. Samoog Owners Club. Two band finest and the West Coast Shaving $25 gift certificate. Don't forget that. And also don't forget the fact that the fine uh, West Coast Shaving exclusive Aqua Marine is on sale today, uh, March 1st at some point. Okay, we shall finish off with, this is uh, Tobbs uh, Victorian Lime 74. For a while there were rumors that this wasn't gonna be made anymore. Um, honestly, it's a really good lime aftershave. Smells great. Ooh, it smells. If you like citrus and lime in particular, ooh, it smells fantastic. But it's a little pricey at north of $30 a bottle. And so if I were asked, would I buy this again? Probably not. It's just too expensive, really. But I do like it. I love that scent. It's good quality. If you just absolutely love lime and you don't mind spending north of $30, then, you know, it's a very good one, but I probably wouldn't buy it again because there are just too many uh, uh, other aftershaves that you can grab for half of that. And uh, the, it is a beautiful version of lime, though. I cannot deny that. All right. Thank you very much, uh, everybody, for watching. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, until next time, I want to remind you that it's your shave. Do it your way, and God bless.